This video will demonstrate how to create an interactive page on the Touch of Creator. So first I want to bring in a background image. I'll just double click it and it snaps to 0, zero position which is top left corner here. I can also drag objects onto the page and place them. And I can manually correct the position if I need to. I'll add some text and audio files. When everything is laid out, I'll go to the On Page tab where I can tweak some properties. For example, the animation sequence that by default would play once and for one second. I'd like it to play twice and a bit faster. I also have other flexibilities such as play immediately for background animations and does this image show or not show upon page load. I'm going to do the same with the sound files. This for example, this is Benny. He's a cat. Is narration. So, I'll call it that. And I would like this to play immediately and obviously be recordable by the end user. I can do the same with the music. and the sound effects. The sound I want to play twice, same as the animation. And I'm basically done with tweaking the properties on the page, now I'm going to create an interaction. First I'll add an interactive area, and then I will choose what kind of action I want on this page. This is shake, this is tap, and soon there will be others that we will add to match the capabilities of the engines. So this is a blinking interaction. And I'm basically just following the sentence. When tapping the interactive area, I would like the animation to and I have all kinds of options. I'm going to choose play. I also want the meow to play with maybe a slight delay. I can add as many of those as I like, sequencing the page, making for example the first paragraph disappear and another one would come straight after or any kind of other user experience I'd like to have on this page. When I'm done I can test what I've created using the simulator. This is Benny. He's a cat. Let's wish him good morning. Good morning, Benny. And if I'm happy with what I created, I can press export and an email is immediately sent to me with an APK file that I can download and play on any Android device. 